Today on My Life with the Saints, we're looking at St. Joseph, the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus. And I'm here with my friend and colleague, Kevin Clark, senior editor of America, author of a great book on Oscar Romero, and himself a father. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks for having me, Jim. You know, one of my favorite aspects of St. Joseph is that he shows us the value of the hidden life. Now, the hidden life usually relates to Jesus' time between ages 12 and 30. There's nothing written about that time in the Gospels, but that was surely the time when Joseph was an important figure in Jesus' life, really a crucial figure. Even though Joseph is given no lines to speak in any of the Gospels, and he seems almost ignored by the New Testament, he helped to shape Jesus in his early life. Yeah, I guess I would love to relate more to, uh, to this patron of fathers, uh, to try to find more that I can model from, uh, but there's, there's just not that much in Scripture about St. Joseph. We know he was a hard worker, we know he was an honorable man, and he took care of his family, and those are the things that are expected of us as fathers, but the job, as we learn, requires so much more than that, and uh, we don't hear too much about that uh, in St. Joseph's life. Yeah, that's right, um, but we do know a little bit about his life. We know, thanks to the Gospels, that he was a tecton, or Greek for carpenter. We know that his foster son followed him into his profession. And we know that even though he could have divorced Mary, who was pregnant while they were betrothed, he didn't. And so we know that he was kind or righteous, as the gospel says. Finally, we know that he was attentive to God's word, as when he has a dream telling him to take his family and flee to Egypt. Like the patriarch Joseph in the book of Genesis, who also had dreams with divine messages, Joseph was, you could say, a good listener. Yeah, and I, I think we could probably say he was much better uh, with his toolbox around the house than I have ever been in my home. Um, but I also get the sense somehow in reading about St. Joseph uh, from the brief references in Scripture that he was a man of great patience, a man of great thoughtfulness, a calming presence in his home. And uh, that's something I'd like to be, frankly, but uh, it's something I also have to struggle with. Well, the saints really do offer us all ways of living. And even though we don't know a whole lot about Joseph, he has helped so many men and women to live holy lives. Thanks so much for sharing your reflections on St. Joseph, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.